Robbie here, Dodgy Garage, mobile VPF cleaning. This is a Nissan Juke. And um, on the Nissan Jukes, a particular problem with these guys is the upstream of the turbine pressure sensor. And quite often on these cars, that particular sensor is located right to the back there by the turbo. And you've got to take all of this plastic off and the windscreen wipers and it usually takes me about four hours but on this particular car that particular pressure sensor is conveniently lo located right here so um, we'll be going in here and cleaning the car through that today but in the meantime I've already got the uh, scan tool plugged in and uh, let's get in and take a look it's already been um, I've already uh, got it all uh, hooked up there. That's where you plug it in. Let's take a quick look. Um, we've got to go to fault codes. Okay, here we have engine management light on, auto start light on, and there the all important um, service indicator. We're at zero. So this car has not been told that it um, has been serviced and I think it's come to the end of its oil service life. And on these Nissans, it's important that the car is told that it has new oil because if it isn't told, it doesn't know. And um, when it gets to the end of its oil service interval, it stops regenerating. So um, I'm thinking that's probably where the problem is. So let's go into, let's read, uh, read fault codes. Okay, preheating unit diag con. Okay, we have a problem there. Okay, all right, okay, all right. Let me just put this uh, scanner on the, on the steering wheel. No, don't do that. Okay, we have a problem there with um, glow plugs. Particle filter, I can clear that up. That's not a problem. Um, oh, yes, this is the relay. This car's got a problem with the relay. Airflow sensor, and I think that these other uh, relay and oil dilution. There we go. Preheating oil dilution. Okay, that's a big one. That's why it's not regenerating. Um, okay, and it's obviously got um, this relay. I can't think of the, the wording for that relay, but I'll show you where that relay is and what the problem is. But here, yeah, oil dilution, okay, is the problem. Okay, so this particular fault code here, THMPR1 relay. That's I've, I've just quickly looked it up. It's the thermo plunger relay. Uh, I actually don't know what that means, but I can tell you where it is. Let me show you where it is and what the problem is. Just for your information, it's this guy here. It's this uh, relay here, this guy here. And if you look inside these relays, You will see once it's focused that that particular relay over there has popped. Okay, so that's what it's complaining about. That one's fine. The others are all okay. But that one there, that one, you can even see on the plastic that it's gotten hot. So that one's the problem. This guy, as I understand, needs to be changed. Um, in the meantime, We've got to go back inside the car and have a look at the uh, actual pressure inside the DPF. Now that we've looked at all the fault codes uh, and read data stream. Oh yes, and then in, in these um, uh, Nissan Jukes, um, you would think that if to find the um, DPF pressure, you would go into engine management. Uh, but you don't you actually go under airbag and um under airbag here it is particle filter different differential pressure 
and there we go that's where you'll find it 45 millibars at uh, idle and it should be between 0 and 10. so we're going to go in through that um, upstream of the turbine pressure sensor put in a cleaning and uh, get it down i'll show you how that works just give me a moment okay so here is the upstream of the um turbine pressure sensor you've got this little guy that you just pull out from underneath here you just pull it out like that then you just hook your finger behind you've got to take this uh, connector off you hook your finger behind and pull it up and that comes off and then just get some pliers in there release there and then this guy's got to come out just like that and then we pull this guy out sideways you just wiggle with him a bit and then he comes out and then you try not to sway and then you just pull him off like that there he is and we're going to put our cleaning fluid straight into that little pipe there okay so now we've got the uh uh, delivery pipe inside the tube that comes back here to this uh, pressure uh, pressure pressure holder pressure pump and then I've got a generator in the back there so we just put it in in increments of five five seconds what we do Okay, so all the fluid is in the vehicle now. It's just a case of closing up the pipe, packing everything up. And more than that is to just check the time because I give it half an hour. And the time on there is half past, half past nine, 9.29, so 10 o'clock we'll uh, start the vehicle up. But in the meantime, what we're going to be doing is looking to reset the um, uh, oil service interval either on the scanner sometimes you can do it on the scanner sometimes it's in the car so that's the next step okay so while we're here waiting for the time to pass for the um, chemicals inside the dpf to do its thing i've reset the uh, oil service maintenance and um, essentially what you do is turn the ignition off then you've got to press and hold this uh, button over here um, for 10 seconds then it'll tell you the oil's good turn the ignition off cycle it back on again believe it or not and then that's that it's done um, so the oil uh, maintenance light is now off and it's again just a question of waiting we're almost there we've got 12 minutes left before we start this engine up again and i'm going to bring up the uh, relative information that we're looking for okay so i've pulled up the uh, information that i can and at um, engine off, we're at zero millibars of pressure. So let's uh, turn it on and uh, see where we go. Idling, we're now at 160. Bring the revs up. Okay, to about 3,000 revs. And we are now... going to try and keep those revs at 3000 more or less there you can see that pressure dropping nicely and ideally we're looking for a pressure um, at 3000 revs of anywhere between 40 to 100 millibars Let me put this back on the steering wheel because it's in my lap I've got to try and keep the um, speed of the motor constant. So look here. Okay.
So we've got temperature there upstream of the turbine. Ideally we want to see that go away above 200. But for the moment I'm just giving the uh, DPF time to uh, clear out. Okay, so you can see the soot levels there are beginning to drop as the pressure in the DPF drops. So the soot levels are dropping as well. Ideally you want those below 6 grams. Soot in particle filter dropping nicely. Particle filter as well, the pressure is dropping nicely. Okay, so after a bit of time We're, at, uh, we're in the 60 range, soot and particle filter, well, 31, and it's not moving, but we're not there yet. Okay, so at idle we are now at 8 millibars of pressure. Um, the um, engine management lights and everything I've cleared those, very simple process. Um, but more than that, I'm going to bring the customer's attention back to the very beginning of this uh, video, which is the uh, preheat condition. We've done the oil. It's the preheat condition, which is the glow plugs. Those are going to have to be uh, sorted out because this car may be clear now. It may be all right. But the reality is, is that within a week it's going to block up again. And that's because the glow plugs aren't working. But for now, that's it. We're all good. And I'll see you in the next one.